I actually think that the next few years will be about us retraining our brains to work out what we should do ourselves versus outsourcing to generative AI. Because at the moment, I don't think we're used to like moving those administrative tasks to, to it. So I think that'll be, that'll be one big thing. So of course, at the moment, the big, big thing is generative AI. I think we all are aware of this. It's everywhere. And it's, of course, a diff different now to really um, make new stuff out of existing data. Then, of course, we also work the whole time with machine learning and predictions um, out of existing data. But now with generative AI, we can do new things. So a couple of things I'm excited about in the industry at the moment is empowerment representation. Um, as a female in the ad tech industry, I'm excited to see that the conversation is um, really moving forward and that it's a priority to talk about quality, uh, gender equality and inclusion. Um, it's really exciting to see our clients as well planning and delivering innovative, um, thought-provoking campaigns which are breaking down stereotypes and propelling the industry forward. It's time for us to move forward and use the solutions that are available to protect consumer privacy, to enable targeting in a variety of ways. And we work in the contextual space. Everything we do is cookie-less. And so you know, with the advances in AI technology, there's so much that's available to a consumer, to, I'm sorry, to an advertiser that we're ready. So 